Hello folks and welcome back to Vintage Survival. Here we are, we're in December, it's time to harvest our canola. And also, technically now we can chaff the corn. However, we need the equipment for it and that's going to cost us like 78 grand. So if we look at our forage harvesters, 64 grand plus 40 grand for the header. So yeah, that is 78 grand. And yeah, I can't go with that one. Actually, is there any like a modded header that we can use? I very much doubt it, but uh, nope, fuck it. F fine, fine, fine. So, yeah, we've done some little bit of contract work, we've done the two sewing and for us contracts. So, yeah, we're ready to harvest canola. And yeah, we're going to get straw. And I think what we'll do is we'll sell the straw and canola at the same time, or like as in now, we will. Also, I was going to take the workers off first of all this morning. Because I want to fertilize. And then spray these fields. So, I'm just going to leave the workers on that. And to be honest, I've been thinking about it. And I'm wondering whether or not should we sell our pickup. Or at least for the time being. Because yeah, we get about 25 grand for all this. 25, 20 grand. You know, I don't want to. I do love this old TLX 92 pickup, but yeah, it's come to make some tough decisions. I think what we do for now is we say keep the pickup for the time being. Sorry, that's kind of traffic. Yeah, keep it for now. See how we are. So, yeah, we've got lots of airs coming in, so. Looks like January when we're chaffing at. Well, that's fine. That is perfectly fine indeed. But just in case, I am going to put it over here for the time being. Just in case we need any sudden money, so. There you go. So, yeah, workers on the way. That's just going to take its time now. I know it's going to empty at some point, but. For now. I'm not too fast and actually let's get a little bit more daylight here so there we go that's a little bit better oh shit we've got snow on the way when's the snow coming so if we look at our weather and that oh, only a little blustery shower at 11 o'clock apart from that it's all good until snow in the evening and at the moment, it's looking like it's going to be snowing until March, so not good. Oh, you're doing a canoe straw, huh? Oh, yeah, it's a corn farm. <laughs> Ugh, I thought we were going to get some canoe straw, but yeah, it's a corn farm. Oh, well, we'll still manage that. Yeah, this is our final harvest of the year. And as we head into our final year of the series, yeah, gonna be moving on. And yeah, as we're approaching the 1990s, I've got some awesome ideas, especially for a new map. Bit of a new premises as well, in a way. Yeah, I am looking forward to that. Yeah, also in that episode, I, well, between episodes, I finished the little bit of cold beating, no, sorry, the rolled in on our soybean fields and also I did some rolled grass so that is looking good actually in terms with fertilizing yeah do that another application of fertilizer but yeah overall we are looking good so let's get this done and then we'll go and sell this canola shrimp lane because how much is canola worth at the moment? It shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, pretty much right at the peak of the curve now. And 2500 for a thousand years as burning grass, so the train it is, so let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
harvesting is done. And overall, we got 15,000 years of Kondoda, so that is going to help us really well. I think we're selling out about two and a half grand per thousand years at the moment, so I think this is going to be enough to get us just where we need to be for now. Obviously, still need to earn like what 78 grand, so yeah, we need to earn 70 grand. And yeah, we'll find out how much we get from here, and then yeah, we've got eggs we can do. Also, all the frozen and herbicide has been done, including the first application on 49. So, what can we do now is go ahead and plant our next crop. So, you yeah, 40 grand for that, so not too bad. Because, yeah, I'm thinking if we do soybeans, I know it's all about grass, but if we do soybeans on that field, that means it takes six months to grow and it'll be ready at its peak price in June. So, I tab over. It's still tempt on side to pick up, but I think for now we will leave that. And actually, first of all, we'll look at our eggs. So we've got a thousand fifty liters here, and our big chicken coop. We've got thirty five hundred, so four four and a half thousand liters of eggs. So how much is eggs going for at the moment? Going for eggs, four and a half thousand. So that's twelve. 30,600, so not quite where we need at the moment. Actually, I do have some idea, so let me just get this all hooked up and start drilling. Because, yes, I got an idea on what we can do to get some quick money coming in. Whether or not it will work, I am not sure. We're at the field, to hand, yep, yeah, this is absolutely filthy as hell, so yes, yeah, go outside the cab for this, so. Yeah, we already got that first application of fertilizer down, so if I just show you folks that quickly. So fertilized, that's all being fully fertilized, so now all we need to do is just put the second application down with this when we're doing the drilling. And yeah, now we can start using our minor extensions we've done on here, so I'll to lure you. There we go. That's the thing is, we're direct drilling, so we should be all good. Which one thing we'll do is just chop that tree down there. And that's going to be the thing about money is trees. Obviously, we didn't have a logging tree in that. Right, that just went. That just went instantly. There is a ways of mobile selling, so I'm thinking. Perhaps if we do that, like, you know, mobile sell our woods and that. Then, yeah, we can get a quick buck in from those logs over there, from those trees at the main farm. So, yes, initially with the series, I was going to plan on planting the forestry and that. Shift, shift the gear there a sec. That's the problem with this Stiger, it's it does have issues with shifting gears and that. On the tree there. New no boys. We'll cut you up like so. Maybe disappear entirely or just fall. So yeah, that's gone entirely. So, very sick. Whilst I just get the headlands done on here, I then yeah, I'll get the worker off. Actually, what's the horsepower requirement on this? 170. Let's try the. Fiat Tagri a sec, so bear with me. Should be five minutes in theory, we've got ten extra horsepower. So let's go and set you up. And yeah, it's a working speed of nine miles an hour. And yeah, it's getting there quite well. Just, yeah, it's a bit sluggish initially. After that, it is actually quite good, so. Yeah, let me just get the head done here a sec, and then set the worker off, and then I'll go f talk about a bit more on my logging plans. There we go, worker's underway, so yeah. I want to go to our pickup sec, because I think it's just over here. Where is it to? I thought I had it over here. Oh no, left it. Why did I leave it over there? Oh 
I'm not sure, but yeah, this is the mobile wood send station, so all we do is we chop up the wooden act, and then someone comes and collects it. That's what I'm going with. Ooh, he doesn't does not strap down. But yeah, for example, like I know we've got our tree like fill the trees over there. But I just use these as examples, so cut this big one here down. And I think what I should do is I'll sell the trees as they are. I'm not gonna bother trying to trim them and prune them. Oh, look at it. Hit the pickup and hit the trailer instead. So now just need to go and grab this and go boink. 610 bucks for that. That is not a lot. Seeing that it's only cost 500, so technically now we're in the red. No, sorry, in the black now. So it's looking good. But what about these trees over here? Those massive trees in the distance. So it's just starting to come down. So perfect timing. Also, there is grass here. It's not being fertilized, but a bit of free grass. Eh, sure, why not? But yeah, now these are some like proper trees. Let's see how much we can get for these because. I am curious. So yeah, these are pine trees. One half tons in weight. So once again, do the parkour. Gonna grab you. Please be more than 610, please. Because yeah, I want to make a lot of money with this. Fuck's sake. 200 for that. Is that even, that's not even worth it. Let me try one more. Let's try, say, alright, fine. Let's cut these into individual lengths. Maybe we get more money that way, in terms with these ridges and that, because, yeah. That is very weird indeed, so. Let me just cut this up a little bit. So, alright, go on and cut these up. Also, I bought the John Deere over with the massive weight so that we can maneuver some of these trees. So, last time we barely hit 200. Now. Okay, that is a lot better. So, that's weird because it doesn't actually change the volume. You know, sell things by the litre and that. So, how long are these? 23 meters. So,. Ideally, if I can cut this down to a two, bunch of quarters, get a six meter log and use that as like a rooter in that. But yeah, so that's going to be interesting. We've got a lot of trees here, so I think what I'll do now is I'm just going to spend some time cutting these trees down, like so. Timber! So yeah, and I guess six meter, so. Something like that. I think for this first one here, if I go over, I'll just trim it down, I'll be fine with it. So that is 5.1 meters, so. Yeah, that's that, that's that. So about to here. Maybe because I didn't prune it. Could be that, why? Honestly, I, I don't know. Bang on, that is 6 meters, so. Where are you two? Fortunately, it's not a six meter twig, so it's gonna be up if this snap. Yeah, that's the length we need. Get a bunch of six meter logs, and then we'll be fine as that fine as day. So, once again, trim the branch down like so. Yeah, see, that's about halfway. And I shall try. If I prune a full log now, full tree, does that help? Actually, you know what? That's a better idea. Keep, use that as a stick, so make sure it's on our property. As we'll just keep on trimming this down to it's six meters long. You know what? 5.9, that will do. So, but yeah, let's do that test with a full tree first of all. So, 
pick a random one. These are all exactly the same tree, so should get the same amount of money for them. So we'll cut this and prune it. So right, that's been cut down. It's all been pruning that. Chopped off the top end of it. So 200 we got for the first one. Then we have 1200 for all the little logs. So what do we get with this? Somewhere in between, so uh, do I do the work, get double the money for doing the logs, or just prune it all? Oh, I think I'll cut all these down and just chop them up to cores and that, so it's going to be a take a while, so leave me with this, and I'll see you folks in your time, a few seconds for me, a couple of hours maybe. Alrighty then, so we're just brushing through the cornfields, and yes, we are done with the little bit logging. I've done about, I'll say, 40% of those trees, but yeah, I've had to refill the planter because the worker here has cocked up because, yeah, I just left this untended while I was doing logging. And then, yeah, when I was looking up at the money now, I noticed it was still going down. Why? Now, as you can see, these two fields up here, the worker has decided to direct drill over the grass, so... And you know what, I'm saying, heck it, let's just do all of this now, because yeah, it stopped here when there was empty of furrows or seeds. But yeah, I've gone and topped everything up, so... Not screw it, the rest is going to be soybeans. Even though I spent between the episodes uh, rolling the grass, but... Screw it, so yeah. That's you done over there. And now, for over here, I said we made decent progress in that. A fair bit of decent progress. A lot of it were 6 meter logs. But then, yeah, I got, went to roughly about 7 or 8 meter length logs. Because since these are, we have a look, 24 meters tall, or... 23.9, if I just turn on this correct setting, so, yeah, 23.6, so, yeah, I'll say we're decent, right, 8 meters, 8.3 meters and that, so, ooh, yeah, getting a bit of that here, so, now, what we need to do is sell all these, so, where did I leave, what left the sell point here, hmm, Where's that gone to? There's a bit of lag. Ah, I think I know where it may have got went to. Maybe it went back to where I had it initially. Because obviously with these, you got to place it down. So... But anywho, so we'll whack another one down. Because it's going to be bothered to transport anything. So there we go. Place you down. So... We're at 50 grand. I'll say maybe we've got about 50 grand worth of logs here. So... Not too bad. Ooh, actually going to hit our target very well. Night, wow, 91 grand. Ooh, 93 grand there. So yeah, we're going to definitely clear 100 grand. So, 120 maybe, going to clear. That's 109. 121. 122 grand, Ron. So... That is enough for the Forge Harvester, so I'm going to sell you, and I'm just going to go back to the farm. Yeah, the farm's just over here, and I think this is where I placed the sell point initially, so yeah, place it here, so sex sell, there we go. So yeah, 123 grand. That means we're set up to get what we need for Harvester and that. It's gonna take forever to do. Also, since we're in December, might as well sell the eggs, so... Let me finish this off planting, and I'll do that bit over there. Then what I'll do next is I'll set Ripper off on rolling, and then we'll wrap up the episode here with selling off the eggs, since they're at our maximum price. Might as well sell them whilst we can for huge profits.
and there we go. We are done with the drilling. And also, yeah, I completely forgot about the Canola Horn Field 88. So, I quickly got done and got that harvested. So, yeah, we've got 11,600 years here, plus another like 21,000 years in the train silo with two full loads. So, actually, yeah, doing all the tree selling, maybe not being necessary, but hey, at the end of the day, extra money for us. And remember, all the money we're earning is going to go into our next season. And as of yet, I do know what the map is going to be, but rather be safe than sorry. And you know what? I was going to go cut across. Just look for a train on the PDA, but no to avail. Anywho, let's go and pop you in. Just wait for the train to come up on the map. But yeah, this is going to be a good hole for us, so I think the train marker is over here. Train is 2.6 kilometers out, 2.7. Ah, uh, don't say, yeah, may have slightly overshot now to come back, so we'll need to wait on for that. And also, yeah, I forgot about the times. Apologies there, so let's wait until the train arrives. And then we'll get all of the canoe sold. And then we'll get rid of the eggs, so there we go. And actually what what I can do is so you can go down here. Like so. So yeah now just need to wait for the train. So, alright, the train is literally just arriving, and yeah, I thought I'd take this over and sell the eggs ourselves. So, yeah, we've got 6,000 a year, so should be a nice little hole for us. So, there we go. And how much is that going to be? 19,000. Actually, that ain't too bad, actually, for the eggs. Now for the train. So alright, we've got 34,100 a year, so that should be, what, over 60 grand, 70 grand or so? Actually no, it should be more like 75 grand, so yeah. Literally all that logging we did wasn't necessary, but hey, as I mentioned, yeah, about the money for the new series. That's what gives us a bit of a significant buffer in the bank account in terms with yeah, in terms with if we need anything for our final year, because, yeah, as soon as we head into the next episode, which is going to be January, that's going to be our final year on the farm, and 82 grand. That ain't too bad, so that leaves us with 270 grand. Nothing in the used market as of interest to us, so... Now, we got a lot of work to do, and this is going to take forever to do. Yeah. I'm going to hold off now and see if I can find anything else, but I very much doubt it. You know what? For now, screw it. Okay, I just want to make sure we had the right one purchased, the blue one, so... Because, yeah, at three meters, just for reference, this is going to take absolute forever to do. To chaff up all that corn. God, that is... I'm not going to look forward to it at all. But yeah, remember then, what we can do is start... Yeah, unless we can get a dolly or something on the back of this for the trader. I very much doubt it, but... Ugh. Yeah, we'll figure out something. But anyways, that's where I leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the like button. Feel free to comment below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's a great farmer ever extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.